Good morning, y'all. Today is good morning, y'all. Today is Sunday. Um, oh, it's a little but, chilly. It's chilly. Yeah. Oh, and I got on sandals. I was about to show y'all my outfit of the day, but it might be changing. My husband just said it's chilly outside, but y'all would have seen this little set that I got from Nordstrom Rack. Um, pulled out my old glasses that I haven't worn in so long. Got some layered necklaces here and Coach Tabby. But now I don't even know if I should change my clothes. I need to, you think I should change? Uh -huh. You think I should change? Maybe I should. I, mean, I, I gotta go out there and see y'all. <laughs> Cause his code and my code be different. Oh, and I got on these um, earrings. I think I showed y'all these. I got these from Nordstrom Rack on the clearance rack for like $12. And yeah. We are on our way out the door. It's like 10 o'clock. We're about to go to the farmer's market because my husband's going to grill today because next weekend um, we won't be here. We will be out of town for Easter. So we decided that we'll just go ahead and, you know, just put some meat on the grill. To, not for that, but because it's a pretty day and I've been craving ribs like bad. <laughs> craving. <laughs> Craving ribs bad, y'all. I don't even know. I have not. Oh, I haven't had ribs in so long, but I'm like craving them bad. So that's what we are gonna do today. So we probably throw some ribs, some chicken, maybe a little bit of chicken. But I want some chicken kebabs. I don't know, but we just gonna go. <clears throat> excuse me. Explore the farmers market. I'm going to stop at Dunkin' first to get me a coffee. And then we on our way out the door. I mean, then we on our way to the farmer's market. I stayed in the house all day yesterday on the freaking couch, except for going to Little Caesars to go grab some freaking crazy puffs. And those things are crazy good, okay? Crazy good. If you if you haven't tried them, y'all better try them. Those little puffs is so good. I told y'all, I grew up on Little Caesars Pizza. That was a staple in the city of Detroit. So it actually just tastes like a personal deep dish or like a regular deep dish pizza, but it's just in a smaller form. So if you're from Detroit and you know how Little Caesars Pizza used to taste back in the 90s, it's reminiscent to that. So get you some. All right, y'all. My husband waiting on me. Let me get out this door and I will... See y'all in a minute. Let me go see if I need to change my clothes because I really don't want to because I'm extremely comfortable. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it took me out this time. Not here. Is it old fashioned? Thank you. Thank you. Get up, baby. Make sure that's old fashioned. Whatever it is, I'm going to eat it. To the vloggy vlog. What's up, vloggy vlog? <laughs> All right, y'all. We on our way to the. Um, okay. I told y'all the cap farmers market. I think isn't that like the one of the largest ones? I think so. Yeah, I think it. I think it is. I haven't been to the to the Detroit, Detroit. <laughs> the cap farmers market in years. I'm kind of excited. I know back in the day. I don't know if it's still the same because, like I said, I haven't been in years, but. I know that they used to have um, where you can eat in there too. Like you can have food, like little restaurants, I guess, kind of like thing. I don't know if it's the same still today, but we're going to check it out. He does some meats, little things for the next few days. Because I know this barbecue today is going to last. Oh, what size we going to have? I want uh, sweet potato and red beans. Like sweet potato, like the whole sweet potato? And green beans. That's what I want, right? I mean, I'm not cooking a whole bunch of sides, so. Alright, y'all, we about to argue about sides, so I so I'll call y'all back. <laughs> y'all, I just had to come on. <laughs> I just had to come on here. Okay. Every time me and my husband get in the car, right? And he is and he drives. Now, I don't ask him to drive. He jumps in the driver's seat. Girl, bye. I don't mind. I don't mind driving, y'all. Y'all know this, right? I do not mind driving. I'm over right now. He jumps in the driver's seat. My husband is 
the slowest dry. Look at this. He is the grandpa of grandpas under the wheel and under the steering wheel. What, what are rushing for? It's not about rushing, y'all. So he said he just told me that he'd be scared when I'm driving, right? I said I'd be scared. You did. You said you said you scared. You said you scared me when you driving because you, you, you drive, I be yeah. jumping in front of people. I don't just jump in front of people. If I get if if it's room for me to get over, I'm gonna get over. I'm not just and I'm not one of those people like inch my way in like when it's a little bit of space. Yes, you do. No, I do not. I just drive. I do drive faster, I of drive course. Cautious. He drives. He act like he's scared to switch lanes. We can. I just saw him a perfect a perfect example of him driving is like him in one other car and that's it on a freeway and the other car is doing like 40 miles per hour and he'll just ride behind them he can get over he can go around he can do whatever but he will choose to sit behind the slowest car for no reason at all none and I always say i'm not in a rush it's not about in a rush like let's just get to where we're trying it is. I, I, i'm also looking out for the other people who drive and it's just not about me well, we have to look out for the other drivers. You know. Well, I ain't never been in an accident. God forbid, in my whole 40 plus years of driving, 30 plus years of driving, never have I, and I'm, Jesus, please, because I know we are all covered with the blood of Jesus, but y'all, I have never caused an accident, neither have I been in an accident, and I pray to God that I never do. My driving skills and my driving record speaks for itself. I think I got a, a speeding ticket probably like two years ago. And I will admit, yes, I was speeding. And the reason that I was speeding was because I was actually on my way to go and meet a client for um, to show a house. So it was my fault I did that. Now he want to speed and go fast and a police over here in the other lane. And he ain't even seen the police. He probably ain't even see the police. I saw that police. It's the Cary County police, ain't it? He ain't seen me until I just said I'm from the Cary County. They already know who I am. What? Yeah, they already know who I am. Yeah, they already know who I am. Oh, I'm seeing you get pulled up. No, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that loud camera. Yeah, you lying now. better than you y'all just comment down below and let me know every single time we get in the car i'm like having to drive for him i'm looking in the mirror you can get over you can do this you can do that i'll be in these streets every single day driving like somebody's granddaddy all right i'm gonna finish enjoying my coffee we about eight minutes away so i see y'all once we get there Can't take 
make yourself a the equation Can we longer than your own patience? Can we longer than your own patience? Like you had waited until you're not Can't remember what you forgot You can't take yourself out the equation Life's funny like that You lose one thing, get another one back You thought you knew, but it wasn't no fact Known them your whole life, but it was all an act There's no meaning But like in the best of ways You could go a hundred days without really doing anything And still have the right to say I'm so incredible market like I showed y'all and then we stopped at Publix to get the few little things so I'm about to season I just finished washing my hands but I'm about to season these ribs I really liked going to the farmers market like this little slab of baby back ribs was only 22 bucks so I'm about to clean these and get the but get that stuff put up got two packs of which they sell this at Publix they probably sell it at Kroger too I'm not exactly for sure but I got two packs of the um, turkey bacon that we eat it's by God Shows. so good uh, I'm showing y'all everything that we got from the farmers market I don't I mean we just got like barbecue sauce A1 sauce eggs stuff like that from um, from public and I was so happy to come across these because Lord knows any place we go to and they have these on the menu we always order them sauteed with the garlic butter but these are the frozen snow crab cocktail claws which they're just crab claws in a shell like a half shell and this bag was $84.57 but you know seafood is quite pricey but I mean, you get quite a bit, so I'm gonna throw these in the freezer because I'm not gonna cook these today. We'll be making those on another day, but not today. Throw these bags away. They smell like seafood. And also from the farmer's market, we grabbed some feta cheese. How much was this? Oh, that wasn't bad. This this container, and I eat a lot of feta cheese, so this is probably like two salads for me. But it was $2.88. My husband picked up these Rufus Teague fits, fixed up this rib. I don't know. Some kind of seasonings. Our cabinet stays with seasoning. And this is something spicy, some kind of rub. But that's that. picked up from this is my husband's he got him two ribeye steaks they're kind of thick for our liking but she said that they couldn't cut them in half this is a reason why i don't get meat from like costco because costco meat be too big too i don't like we don't we don't like thick or like big meat <laughs> it's just not our thing and then but these these will have to do and then for me my two daughters and my mom we got some grass-fed New York strips. They were $68 for four, which really wasn't that bad because they're thick. But I will say, I was telling my husband, like, the quality of the meat is so, and I'm gonna say it like, I don't know if anybody else grocery shop or think this way, but this is why I can't do like Instacart or anything like that because I look for like the prettiest bag, the prettiest peppers, the prettiest meat. Like my stuff has to be, nice and pretty <laughs> if that makes any sense at all um and then we got some fruit my husband got his two sweet potatoes that we was arguing that i told y'all we was about to argue about <laughs> we really did but it was a joke it was a joke y'all um got some kiwi 
We got some honey, let me honey mango. We we just said they look good, so we're just gonna try them. And then I forgot what kind of apples these are. These are some kind of oh an Arkansas black apple. Got two of those, and then I also got two of these lemon plums. It just sound good, so hopefully they are good. Got two of those. Got two bags of whole wings. It's another bag in here too. Two bags of those, which those are going on the grill today. So the steaks, the ribs, and the chicken are going on the grill. My husband got his favorite fruits that he keeps buying over and over, but that's his thing. Some blackberries and some blueberries. I think he got like four or five of these and two of these or something like that. Got those. And we got four nice size lobster tails. And they were, for the four, they were 99.02. So probably. I don't know. I want to say they, of course, they're a little bit more expensive than like going to like Costco. However, the ones at Costco have gotten smaller. So we'll probably just kind of like sauce. Them. I'd like to take mine out of the shell, cut them up in pieces, like chop it up in pieces and then saute it on top of the stove with butter and seasoning. And like I said, from Publix, we just got like some green beans. I got some salad stuff grill covers, barbecue sauce. Instead of sweet potatoes for us, for me, my daughters, and my mom, uh, I got us some baked potatoes, sour cream. We got hot dogs, hot dog buns, and that's about it. So, I'm about to go ahead, and if you hear the washer in the background, my daughter is washing, so sorry, that noise is distracting. But nonetheless, that is it. That's all we picked up. I'm about to put this stuff up get our meat season it is still early it's only 118 we'll probably throw stuff on the grill maybe about three or something like that because what we have to cook today is not going to take long at all so with that being said if you have not subscribed and you've been enjoying my channel please 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 consider hitting that subscribe button y'all i am actually close to my milestone i am like at 488 subscribers i'm trying to reach at least 500 so again if y'all like this if y'all like my content and my personality of course <laughs> then go ahead hit that subscribe button because i would love to have you i definitely will and i appreciate everybody oh before i let y'all go i just want to shout out the people who have been commenting I am so overly, joy I'm over the joy and just everything. You all have been saying the, the nicest, most kind words. And I just sincerely want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate everybody who takes the time out to watch my channel. But I definitely want to give a shout out to those who take the time to even, you know, write me a nice comment and or suggestion for things. I really appreciate y'all. I really, really, really do. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. <laughs> y'all not going to believe this. Look at the chicken. It still got a fi it still got fire on it. Look, y'all. Look at this. It was literally flames coming from up under the grill. Look at this. All this chicken we just bought have to go in the trash literally still has fire like do you see this flames wow mm -mm -mm. oh i grabbed the ribs there he saved the ribs though y'all he saved the ribs saved the ribs Look <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of scary. I really did ask him, did we need to call the fire department? Because no. it was scary. 
look all the stuff dripping down here I, what i was afraid of because the flames was so big i was scared that you know that's a propane tank like you can't be playing around with that kind of stuff you can go ahead and bring that in what well, a chicken you want to put some barbecue <laughs> sauce on it <laughs> <laughs> You can go ahead and throw some barbecue sauce on it. It'd be just like new. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. He did say the ribs. So, <laughs> hold on. Let me turn the light on. The ribs for me are perfect. I like a little burnt on the tips like that. I like that. So, I'm about to throw some barbecue sauce on these and then throw them in the oven. And then, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> good morning, y'all. We are, um, oh, wait, let me introduce today. Today is Tuesday, I think the 26th. Yeah, today is Tuesday the 26th. As you can see, I took my braids down yesterday. And I'm about to go do a thing, y'all. I'm about to go dye my hair back dark. I was going to do it myself. But I got scared because I was reading and people, plus I knew my stepfather. I remember, I don't know, I'm sure I told y'all that I grew up around a stylist. Like I grew up in the salon. So I know sometimes when you put like black on like a blonde or gold, it can give a green tint. So sometimes you have to put red in and, and then put black over or a dark color over the red versus putting the dark right over a blonde or bleached hair. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to just go ahead and go to the shop and let them do it. But I'm not going to get it like flat iron or cor or ugh, flat iron or curled or anything. I'm just going to, I just want them to dye it, of course, wash it. And then, you know, just do like a natural something curly just and leave it, and leave it alone. So that's what we're on our way out the door to do. It is a gloomy, ugly day, and that ain't good. <laughs> but I'm excited this week because I leave to go to the beach this week, which my body, my mind, my spirit, my everything is craving the beach. I cannot wait, y'all. Like, I really wish we could stay longer, but the day that we come back from the beach, the following day, we going right back out of town. Then like around maybe like two weeks from there, I'm going back out of town. No. Yeah. And then a few days from that, I'm going back out of town. So I got four states basically. Yeah. Four states that I'll be hitting in the month of April. <laughs> Actually, now that I just thought about it, I will be going to four states in the month of April. So we doing a little traveling. It's some of it for my husband work, family, um, birthday party, and of course the beach is kind of just leisure so that's for spring break so and y'all will get this once we come back so this video will be after we come back because i've already vlogged pretty much up until basically the date that we leave and then of course i'll be vlogging while we're out of town so that's the gist of what i got going on but I just wanted to come in and start off today's vlog. I'm just looking real bummy. I got on, of course, my favorite jacket. I'm still rocking a tabby because <laughs> I, I haven't changed outfits. It's a black purse, so let's roll with it. My real gold hoops, my everyday necklace that I wear, and then these Nike leggings, and they have like the um, the sheer in the back, and then these old Nikes that I got. I don't know, so long ago. And my dog, she likes to chew up the tip of our tennis shoes or any kind of shoestring. So, yeah. So, I'm about to get out this door. I just wanted to come in and start off today's vlog. I know it's a little dark and gloomy here. It really wouldn't have made much difference if I would have turned on a light. So, that's why I just was like, you know what? Let me just talk to y'all how it is because I'm literally on my way out the door. So, I'll see y'all when I get to the shop and... We want to get this head back to normal. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>
back home. I had started wrapping my hair before I picked up the camera. But just to show y'all, it's pouring down raining. <laughs> my hair has already started like poofing up and everything. But I'm back dark. I'm back dark. And I'm happy about it. And the reason that I'm happy about it is because, like, I had to think about all the headband wigs, all the drawstring ponytails, trying to match braids. Um, really just all of that played a part in me wanting my hair back dark because on bad hair days, I can easily just throw on a headband wig or throw on a drawstring ponytail and look, you know, neat versus with that with that blonde, with any, I feel like with any colored hair, other than like a natural color, it's hard to match weave to that. And I wanna get a, um, I wanna get a curly sew-in. That was another reason because I will be getting that soon for one of my vacations. So that was another reason because I'm like, I'm not about to be around here with no blonde, big curly sew-in. Now I'm not 22. Okay, but not no offense to the ladies that do it. I just can't do it. And plus, I just didn't want to like the whole thought process of trying to match the hair and do all of that. Mm -mm. I wasn't about to do that. I wasn't about to fool with it. So I said, you know what? Let me just go back dark. And this actually is um, a dark brown. It's probably not coming up on camera. It's probably looking jet black. But I didn't get jet black. I actually got a dark brown. Hold on, let me get some um, Frizz stuff. Hold on. I'm just about to put a little bit of this Frizz Buster on. Cause like I said, it's raining. I knew this hairstyle. I really didn't even, my intentions were to just have them do it in like a natural style, you know, just to leave it wet. But when I walked outside and realized, oh, and realized how cold it was, it's chilly, it's rainy. So I just decided to go ahead with the whole shebang. But she did a good job. I mean, it's not, anything that she did it's just the weather so i'm gonna see how long it lasts as far as like just like overnight um you know a couple of days or so maybe throw a headband on because i'm not gonna put any more heat on it because she put a lot of heat that's one thing about going to the dominicans your hair i used to go i used to take my kids me <laughs> we used to go every two weeks faithfully but over time, I realized that my oldest, my youngest daughter was real small. And I realized over time that her hair, like her little ends of her ponytails, would just be so thin. And I'm like, hmm, I know this is because of all this heat. Because we were going every two weeks. So, I'm just not going to do that. But it's okay to just go every now and again. I do like... Um, you know, going to the Dominicans, but that's the only drawback because they'll get your hair straight outside of, you know, somebody get doing a, a silk press, but I'm not, I'm not there yet. Like I told y'all, I just want to play with my natural hair, see how that turns out, you know, over the next couple of months during the summertime, get like some little ponytails, little sew-ins, kind of get back to the old me. I'm just transitioning with this hair okay you just go up the little transition period but i did want to come in and show y'all that your girl is that dark <sighs> and it feels so much better <laughs> i tried it i tried it one thing about me i'm gonna try it I, I, i'm gonna try it and if it don't work i'm gonna go right back to what i know but I will try. So I will try something. I am not afraid of trying something new. One thing about me, I don't I don't mind because I like change. I like learning. And I feel like all of this is part of that. 
change, changed my hair color, didn't like it. <clears throat> oh well, I, I think my shirt explains it all. This me. <laughs> ah, but I'm about to chill. Oh, I actually got a basket of clothes I need to fold, so I'm about to do that because it is a rainy, rainy day. I did not know that. It is cold. It's not cold, but it's chilly. So, yeah, but I just wanted to come in and show y'all I'm back. And um, that's about it. So, like I said, I'm about to chill it on out, and then I will pick y'all up later. I probably won't be doing anything that's really vlog worthy later on my husband's about to fry some chicken i'm gonna make me a salad and that's about it so all right y'all i'll see y'all later bye